How's it going, listeners and subscribers? So, random rant, right? California may be an easy target to ridicule in terms of failing policy, but it's wealthy. Nevertheless, though we're the fifth largest economy in the world, the state's wealth does not reflect the wealth of its citizens. Many rely on some form of government aid, most don't own the homes they live in, and homelessness is on the rise. But the truth is, without extensive evidence and substantial patience, you'll have a hard time getting less informed Californians to understand why their state is in the midst of all this. Even then, it can be hit and miss. Now, it can't be sensibly argued that California doesn't have its problems, but there's something to pay attention to when it comes to their constant underlining. In part, it could be perceived as a way to obfuscate the fact there's a great number of poor conservative states. Over half the poorest U.S. states are Republican, and while the more informed conservatives will be quick to cite the number of Democratic states in comparison and the disparity in cost of living, it doesn't negate the reality. See, there's an assault from two major fronts, the surface level where political antics manifest and the donkey and elephant show play out, and then there's the more esoteric aspects. Often referred to as the hidden hand or deep state, ultimately we're talking about the networks of dubious power pyramid players that instigate agenda behind the scenes. What agenda, you might ask? Well, there's many, right? Illegals can get a license. With a license, you can vote. From there, it's not hard to imagine what policies might be enacted after. Also, it's almost like there's a goal to push a particular class of people out of areas like California. And it's not just the bad hombres. Not to mention, those who leave and take up root elsewhere then change the political landscape of their new respective residents. In effect, it's a dream for those who would seek to gain from the ensuing discord. But really, while all that plays out on the main stage, how many are paying attention to what's going on in the background? Hawaii's Kilauea has been erupting for weeks. So far, it's destroyed 100 homes or so and cut off evacuation routes. People were even rescued by airlift. All the while, Guatemala suffered a huge volcanic eruption and a couple of earthquakes, yet it hardly got as much coverage. 100 plus homes destroyed, 100 plus dead, thousands evacuated. Indonesia is suffering from high seismic and volcanic activity. Raises concerns about Yellowstone. Venezuela is collapsing, Brazil. People are starving in the fifth largest economy in the world, but hey, at least they're building big beautiful homes in Fresno. We're being distracted. Wake up folks, we don't need some big event to spark the next civil war or calamity. Turmoil is on our doorstep. You know, we have it good right now. These are the good times right now. Just wait till SHTF, WROL, without rule of law. Wake up.